I had a very rich mentor growing up. He was a family friend, and I believe he had over $100 million to his name. And I remember I asked him one time, I said, how can I get rich? I see the mansion that you're in. I see the cars that you drive. You got the orange Porsche over there, the red Ferrari. You have this massive garage. I see the trips you take. You're all over the world. You always fly private. How can I become you? And I'll never forget it. And through our conversations, he gave me three main pieces of advice. And he gave it an acronym. I don't know why he used this acronym. But he called it GOP, GOP. And he said, Nate, if you can learn to always remember GOP, if you can always remember these three pieces of advice, you will become wealthy. You will become rich. And so many people do not do this. He said, if you remember these three things, it is not a question of how, it is a question of when you will become rich. The answers will come your way if you follow these three pieces of advice. Number one was guard, G, guard your time. Guard your time that you spend with other people. Guard your time that you spend throughout the day. Guard it to become successful. And what that means is we're going to guard who we hang out with. We're not going to hang around people who are negative, who are going nowhere, who are making excuses for where they're at. No, we're going to guard our time and be around people who are lifting us up, who are creating positive environments, who are pushing us, holding us accountable, who are also out there making money. You run faster when you're running by people who are running fast. You're not going to run faster if people are way behind you. You need to be around other people who are pushing you to be better. You also need to guard what you spend your time on. Stop spending time on things that are not going to further you. Don't spend time in front of the couch at the TV watching Netflix all day. Don't spend time gaming all day. Life is short. Guard your time. You need, you become, he said, you become the average of your environment. The average of your five friends is who you become. You become the average of your environment. So guard your environment, create the right environment, and then you will be successful. Number two of GOP is O, which is ownership. You see, this is where the money comes in. He said, you need ownership. What he did was, is he started a business, and that business had value to it. It can be sold. And as the profit went up, the EBITDA, the multiple of the profit, increased. What that means is, normally a small business can be sold for three to five times the, the profit. So if you have a $100,000 profit, that business can be sold for three hundred grand. But what a lot of people don't understand is as the profit soars and goes up, so does the multiple. So sometimes multiples can be as high as 10 to 15 to 20 times the profit. So what he explained is what he did was he multiplied his wealth. Where other people work jobs, invest their money, and their wealth goes like this, a slow increase. What he said is, to be really wealthy, to be really rich, you need to multiply your wealth. And the only way to multiply your wealth is through equity in a business. That business grows, the profit grows, and your multiple grows, and then you start, you raised your profit from 100 to 300, now you're worth 300 times three, which is 900, where you were just worth 300. So you multiplied your wealth by three times, and you start doing that over and over again, growing a business, staying profitable. Eventually, somebody walks in and offers you a ton of money to buy your business. And that is when you sell, and that's how you get your millions and millions of dollars. So many people in the middle class and lower class, they fail to grasp that the freedom is in ownership that the financial freedom is in owning a business that can be sold, that can be scaled, owning something. He said, once you own a business and you make a lot of money, then you invest in another ownership asset, which is real estate. You invest in real estate, the real estate continues to rise, so does your business, you then multiply your wealth. So you need ownership. The third thing here, the P of GOP, is you need partnership. Partnership is that of a spouse. 
not talking about a business partner. I would actually advise, and he advised me never to go into business with another partner, that to find a partner and a spouse. He said he's seen so many businesses that had so much potential, so many people that had so much potential that they never saw an ounce of it because of a nasty divorce, an unsupportive spouse, or a horrible home life. He said, this is probably the most important thing you should do in your life is picking out the right partner. And yes, he said partner. He did not say pick out the person who looks the hottest. He said find a partner, find somebody that you're willing to go to war with, that is willing to have your back, that is willing to grow together as a couple and have goals and initiatives, not surface level. A partner will not abandon you. A partner will have your back. A partner will want to grow with you. That's what a partnership is. So have a partner in your life. Marry the right person. GOP, guard your time, get ownership, and find a partnership. That's the advice. That's the advice you need. It's nothing too specific, but it's something that you need to hear, and a lot of people may refute this, but those people are not rich. I'm giving you specific advice that I've heard from multiple wealthy people. This is advice that will work, and if you keep listening to the people out there in your life, the lower class, middle class people who have not achieved wealth, and you get advice from them, advice from people that you don't want to be, you should get advice from people that you want to be, that you want to be wealthy, so you get advice from wealthy people. You want to be successful, you get advice from successful people. So stop listening to the people telling you, no, don't listen to that. You don't need to start a business. That's a lot of risk. No, don't listen to that. You should be friends with the same person you've been friends with since first grade. No, you shouldn't listen to that. You should marry the girl that you love and you love her because of the way she looks. And no, you should find a partnership with your spouse. And if you have any questions today about how to get to the next level, how to start a business. I have tons of videos on my page about how to start businesses, how to grow businesses, business ideas. I also have a link on my bio where you can book a call with me and I would love to hear about your story, where you're at and how I can help you find your business, potentially find a business to buy and get you to the next level in your wealth journey. So if you like today's video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.